The 1881 shootout in Tombstone, Arizona, known as the gunfight at the OK Corral, only lasted 30 seconds, but the mark it left on popular imagination has held on for nearly 150 years. Why? Because Americans have never stopped being fascinated with the Wild West. Grim and Mal Presents will travel into the unknown, the misunderstood, and the forgotten tales of America's westward expansion. Grim and Mal Presents The Wild West is available now. Subscribe on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Learn more over at grimandmild.com slash presents. It's no longer about answering the most emails. It's about prioritizing what's most important. Hey, Lexus, give me directions to Eagles Peak Hiking Trail. Calculating route. That's why the Lexus NX has an all-new interface engineered to understand you and an available 14-inch touchscreen that's simpler and more intuitive. The all-new 2022 Lexus NX. Click the banner to discover more. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Hello. From Wonder Media Network, I'm Jenny Kaplan, and this is Womanica. This month, we're talking about goddesses, mythical figures who've shaped culture, history, and imagination around the world. She is the creator of the Hawaiian Islands, also known as the woman who devours the earth. Sometimes she's young and beautiful with flowing black hair and a ball of flame glowing in her hands. Other times she's an old woman with a small white dog by her side. Other times still, her face mysteriously appears in photos of lava flows and fiery eruptions. Let's meet Pele. Legend has it that Pele was born in Kahiki, an ancient island near modern-day Polynesia that's considered an ancient homeland to many Hawaiians. From a young age, Pele showed the potential to become a powerful goddess. Her uncle, Lono Makwa, became her mentor. He gave her a special digging stick called a paua and taught her how to harness her powers. Stories vary on what prompted Pele to flee her home. In some tellings, young Pele set fire to her home and was unable to put it out. In another, her power and fiery temper threatened her father and he banished her. In yet another, Pele seduced her sister Namaka's lover and then fled from her sister's wrath. In each instance, Pele set off in a canoe to traverse the Pacific Ocean. She carried her younger sister, Hiaka, along with her in the form of an egg. In pursuit was her vengeful eldest sister, Namaka. Pele reached the island of Kauai. There, she dug into the earth, creating a glowing pit of fire. Namaka could see the orange glow reflected in the clouds above the pit and pursued Pele, setting off a tidal wave in the process. Pele then fled to Oahu, where again she dug into the earth to create a fire pit. Namaka caused the pit to fill with salt water and doused the flames. Again and again, Pele fled and dug holes, puncturing the earth and causing fire to spit and lava to ooze from within. Finally, on the western slopes of Maui, Namaka caught up with Pele. The sisters fought to the death, Pele with her fire and Namaka with her water. Namaka triumphed. She killed Pele and broke her body into pieces until it was just a pile of bones. Namaka rejoiced, until a volcano on the nearby island of Hawaii started erupting. Namaka saw the tower of fiery lava lighting up the sky and knew her sister's spirit lived on. She would never be able to truly defeat Pele. On the big island of Hawaii, Pele traveled further to the volcano of Kilauea. She dug her stick into the ground and finally found her new home in the crater of Hale Maumau. Pele is said to still be there to this day. Pele has been both a creative and destructive force upon the lands of Hawaii. The Hale Maumau crater is one of the most active volcanoes in the world. In the past 40 years, it has added 70 acres of new land to the southeastern coastline of the Big Island. Whenever a new eruption hits, lava flows down the mountains. The land and sea shake from earthquakes. Forests are set on fire. Lava streams dribble across highways, blocking paths to escape. Anything in Pele's path is susceptible to complete destruction. Yet many native Hawaiians and Hawaii residents are at peace with the goddess's volatility and accept living at Pele's will. Some travel near cracks in the lava rock and leave offerings for Pele, like crystals, money, incense, and even whole-cooked pigs. Native Hawaiians recognize tens of thousands of gods. Pele is the most powerful and important of them all. 
All month, we're talking about goddesses. For more information, find us on Facebook and Instagram at Womanica Podcast. Special thanks to Liz Kaplan, my favorite sister and co-creator. Talk to you tomorrow. At Granger, we're for the ones who specialize in saving the day and for the ones who've mastered the art of keeping business moving. We offer industrial-grade supplies for every industry with same-day pickup and next-day delivery on most orders, all backed by real people ready to help. So you can get the right answers and products right when you need them. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. The 1881 shootout in Tombstone, Arizona, known as the gunfight at the OK Corral, only lasted 30 seconds, but the mark it left on popular imagination has held on for nearly 150 years. Why? Because Americans have never stopped being fascinated with the Wild West. Grim and Mal Presents will travel into the unknown, the misunderstood, and the forgotten tales of America's westward expansion. Grim and Mal Presents the Wild West is available now. Subscribe on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Learn more over at GrimAndMild.com slash presents. 13 Days of Halloween Penance, Season 4 of the award-winning horror fiction podcast presented in immersive 3D audio. If I am under arrest, you have to tell me what I'm charged with. Starring Natalie Morales of Parks and Recreation and Dead to Me. Please, there's been some kind of mistake. I'm not supposed to be here. How do you know? I'm innocent. Are any of us truly innocent? Premiering October 19th, ending Halloween. Listen to 13 Days of Halloween on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.